they were kind of relentless, you know, with <laughs> their kindness and just spending time with them and being treated, you know, like a person. There is no judgment and there is no condemnation. There's only love. And it is without agenda. It is without um, condition. It is just perpetual. <laughs> Brilliance Inside creates a safe space and a positive community in which people get to connect to themselves, connect to others, and in the process, connect to their own brilliance inside. And I found time and time again that when they connect to their own brilliance, all they want to do is give to others. The openness, the strength that comes to say, I've changed, I'm approachable, I'm somebody that can be a friend to you if you allow me to be. Humanity is our, is our goal here, to be more wholesome towards each other, more appreciative of us, we respect life more. It's a new respect for life, minds and others. And that's what I'm getting out of this, and that's what other people get out of this. Those individuals that are inside, like you say, in a prison, are gonna be outside one day. And I want that person that comes out that's gonna be my neighbor to be someone who understands who they are and not based on what they've done. You're cared about and you can succeed no matter where you're at. And I decided like I'm done with the gangs. And I made that change and you know, I've been doing good and I feel comfortable in this new being me, being Kenyan. For the first time in my life, I believe in myself. You know, I've come to realize that I have value as a person, that, you know, I'm not worthless despite what I've heard. I have goodness in me and I have the power to spread that. I don't know, this is really the best I've ever been. I would be going back um, to society within the next couple of months because my participation, my rehabilitation that I've done in, in prison. So many negative things you could get into in prison. And it's easy, because it's all around you. Brilliance inside gives you that alternative to where you can make positive choices. I never knew a positive community before, so it's every day, you know, every time I had the opportunity to be part of it, it's, it's an amazing experience. Of course, the men in the group, once we help ourselves, rehabilitate ourselves, we take it to the other inmates that's that's on the yard, that's not participating in this group. It's very uh, effective, you know, it's contagious, as we say. You know, when they see the change within us, they believe hope and reform is possible. It costs at least $75,000 per year to keep someone in prison, and that's a huge amount of money that doesn't really pay a return back to society. Aside from that, you know, 95% of prisoners end up coming back into society. If we can invest while they're in the prisons to, be, to transforming their lives into becoming more productive, healthier, happier, positive members of society for when they, when they are released from prison, that's a huge economic gain in the long run. I wish for a safer and more peaceful world. And to achieve that, among other things, I really believe we have to break the cycle of violence in which our society finds itself. And why start in prison? As counterintuitive as it sounds, in order to break the cycle, we have discovered that prison residents have the highest combined likelihood for positive change and the ability to impact our community. We have a hundred thousands of people coming out of prison every year and they often come out significantly more violent than when they came in. So my vision for the future is when more prisons as we conceive them today simply no longer exist and they've become these centers of transformation where people are given the tools to develop their self-awareness, their self-understanding, where they get to grow into the human beings they wish to be. And then they get a deeper connection to the community and become the neighbor I wish for. I can't tell you the thousands and thousands of guys that I've talked to in my years, my 27 years doing this. To hear those success stories, to be a witness to it, I've had that opportunity to see guys that have left prison who are no longer incarcerated and have done really, really well for themselves out in the community. And it's only because of volunteers that come in and the staff. And in my experience that I've had in the years that I've done it as a warden for the last seven years, things like this is just a must to continue, to continue on. If I were to say anything, I'd say come along. Join the ride. It'll change you like no other, but it'll also be the most rewarding thing you'll ever participate in is the transformation of a human being. We've seen such a profound impact on the men and on the prison in such a short amount of time that I went ahead and created a nonprofit to expand this work. 
We need your help to expand this highly successful programming to three times more men this year. To reach those three times more men, we need your support. I stand for a joyful community. I stand for transformation through love. I stand for divine human connection. I stand for the healing of humanity. I stand for positivity and change. Will you stand with me? 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 Will you stand with me?